Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here and this is actually my very first 4K uh, recording from, uh, from something that's not a smartphone. I actually picked up the uh, Sony A6300 this weekend, uh, last weekend actually, not too long, a couple days ago. And uh, so far, it's, you know, I've been pretty impressed with it. Uh, actually, again, this is my very first 4K recording using this uh, camera. Uh, you know, normally when I do videos, I record with my Sony RX100 Mark III. Uh, you know, so far, like I said, I like I like it a lot. It takes excellent photos. The tracking, the autofocus tracking on this is pretty amazing. Now, my only pet peeve so far is that, you know, it doesn't have. You know, I've only used it for for a little bit. You know, I really haven't spent much time with it. But you know, my very fir my my pet my number one pet peeve with this uh, so far is that the screen doesn't fold all the way up. So you know, I and then. You know so that I'm just like a one-man camera crew person it, it makes it hard uh, for me to look at myself so you know the solution that I found was that I can use the Sony play memories app uh, to look at myself uh, to make sure that you know I have the, the right setting the right uh, angles and everything uh, to make sure that it's recording my face not just my chest or if it's cutting uh, part of my head off um, so you know I, I guess it's it, I mean it's not an ideal solution you know having a, a flip flipping screen a, a folding up screen or or something like what the camera has where you can just fold it out through the side is flip it over which you know again makes it really useful but you know the Sony a6300 doesn't have it my NX uh, NEX 5T does have it but uh, you know again you know I again I haven't really spent much time with this camera so uh, I really got to go and take out more photos. You know, the only things I've taken so far are photos of my cat and, and you know, using a zoom camera uh, to taking photos outside of things. But um, again, I know this camera's got a lot of good reviews. So, you know, I think I will probably be using this from now on. But I don't think I'm going to be recording using 4K uh, quite often because, you know, the file size, sizes are really big and it's going to take a really long time if I want to upload these to YouTube. But um, what else? Yeah, just to update uh, on a couple of things. Uh, yeah, this past uh, few weeks, it's it's been pretty expensive. Um, you know, I finally managed to upgrade. Well, this was that expensive. I finally managed to upgrade my old uh, 3DS to the new 3DS. This is actually used from GameStop. Uh, picked this up, you know, after trading in my old uh, 3DS for the new one. It got a hundred dollar credit back from. Uh, from GameStop so this ended up being $49 so hey this was a good upgrade and I bought a couple of games I bought uh, you know finally got to play Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS um, you know catching up on my gaming for $19.99 and I picked up this this game's got some really high ratings you know didn't I know it's on iOS and I didn't really want to play this on, on, a, on my smartphone um, rather on a, on a dedicated device like the 3ds so got this on amazon for like i think 12 dollars really good deal and uh what else did i pick up uh yeah this uh castlevania order of ecclesia uh from gamestop for 17 bucks uh really good deal actually i traded in uh some games so i think i ended up paying like five bucks for it so um yeah it wasn't too much but you know the expensive purchases were the uh, the Sony a6300 and I oh yeah I also finally bought the lens that I always wanted I'm actually waiting for it to come in right now it's uh, the SEL 3518 the uh, 35 millimeter prime lens uh, for the e-mount uh, base cameras you know this will work on my Sony NEX 5T and also the new A6300. I'm really excited about using that. I've been using the Sigma 30 millimeter uh, 2.8 for a couple of years. You know, it takes really great shots, but it doesn't uh, do well in low light. So uh, again, really excited about that. Should be coming in tomorrow or maybe uh, on Saturday in a few days. So 
can't wait to take uh, pictures with those. So that was another 300 bucks. You know, normally it's 399 and I got it on eBay for 300, 300. I uh, actually auctioned it. Like what? But was lucky on an auction and then that's how much I paid for it and I had some eBay points or eBay credit gift certificates so that came out to like 250 so again lots of good deals uh, on that um, what else did I get oh yeah my wife just booked us uh, a trip to Australia she really good deal you know so and it, it was such a good deal that it wasn't even worth it to use our to use our mileage so um, I think everything that I spent from let's see <laughs> the 3DS a uh, couple of games that I got uh, the Sony NEX 6300 uh, the lenses what else did I buy well whatever I think in the past couple of weeks I spent like almost I think 2500 to three grand holy shit you know that was that was a lot of money uh, I'm hoping it's under 2500 but I know I spent at least over 2000 Yeah, lots of money. Eh, but, yeah, got to make a lot of money. Got to work harder. Got to earn those commission checks because I am in sales. So um, hopefully I should recoup those costs. But, you know, again, I did save, like, quite a bit of money on, uh, on some things because I found really good deals on them. You know, again, even when I bought the A6300, I, I had a bunch of Best Buy credit. So it did knock the price down from... 1149 1179 something like that it, it brought it it brought it down to to two hundred nine hundred bucks so yeah i mean i'm a best buy elite so i, I go to best buy and i buy a lot of shit <laughs> but uh what else what else oh yeah you know like i've been busy pretty busy with work um lately and uh so I, that's again i really had much time to to play with some of my new stuff so you know the weekend is coming up and uh i will probably be drowning my or drowning myself in yeah drowning myself in playing games and and playing with this camera um and also hopefully review some stuff that i got and never got a chance to review so that's uh that's just my update in a nutshell you know got new camera equipment um you know came back from laguna beach as you've seen on my uh, anniversary video I got a lot of sand on this thing um i was kind of freaked out because it got wet uh, the tide came in and then it splashed the camera while I was walking on, on the side of the beach uh, and I uh, had to turn it off I was worried that it wouldn't work but thankfully you know it turns on and there it is it turns on and it works just fine um, and I you know and I took a couple of videos right after that so it doesn't seem like there's any problems just that there was some sand and then it had a hard time closing so I had to shake the sand out and then you know turn the uh, <laughs> Turn some of the, the buttons, press some of the buttons, turn some of the, the zooming things because there was sand got caught on it and it was crunching while I was made the crunching sound when I was moving it. It made me cringe a little, but thankfully I think it crushed the sand. Uh, it shook some of the sand out and it works fine. And I think that's all I got. Well, hey, thanks for watching the update. And also, this was just me, you know, trying finally finding time to test the uh, 4K of the. Uh, the a6300 so you know please excuse my rambling please excuse uh, me going off in the tangent and talking about random shit but um yeah i think that's all i got oh yeah i'm just gonna i'll throw in the uh, unboxing video of the a6300 and while i use the camera more and get more acclimated with it i will probably put together a review in the future and keep in mind i'm no in no way a professional photographer no way a uh, professional videographer uh, you know I'm just someone who takes casual pictures does you know YouTube videos like this uh, and I do video reviews and I like taking pictures of my cat and I go around you know I like taking photos you know whatever with whatever camera that I got sometimes it's the RX um, 100 Mark III or simply my iPhone 6s or Galaxy or whatever phone that I'm, I'm carrying at that moment so um, all right guys uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video
Now let me show you my first ever time lapse with this thing. <laughs> 